Angela Renteria died April 25 in Austin, Texas, at 91, exactly 18 days later, her son, Rick, was preaching Persistent Sunday in the visiting dugout at Wrigley Field before a 5-3 victory over the Cubs win. A question about Mother's Day caught the manager of the Woe Big on White Sox as off guard as a 3-2 changeup, you know, this will be the first, Renteria said, unable to finish his sentence. This will be the first Mother's Day without my mom. Seven uncomfortable seconds of silence followed. An emotional Renteria looked away from reporters, she was awesome, Renteria said, his voice trailing as he abruptly walked away. That's all I got, that's more than a lesser man might have offered under the circumstances. These have been trying times for the White Sox without even factoring in the family pain still present for Renteria, whose professionalism in the face of personal grief has underscored what makes him right for a job requiring so much perspective. The Sox ended a seven-game losing streak with their best effort in weeks but still find themselves on pace to win 51 fewer games than the Cubs in 2018. Their second victory since April 29th, and only 10th overall, didn't alter their status as the worst team in the majors, huge, Renteria said post-game in a pink cap to commemorate Mother's Day. This is certainly a confidence builder, he could have meant for Sox fans too. Faith among the masses has been harder to find than frustration because of so much shoddy baseball. The ire is understandable from just about everybody in Chicago. Some sports observers only a couple of months ago cheered every Bulls loss as a victory for tanking but now chastise the Sox for being so bad. Breaking, this was by design too. One small but significant detail helps explain the difference in reactions to Jerry Reinsdorf's cellar-dwelling teams in different sports. The Bulls made it easier to see the arrow pointing up by developing a semblance of an identity and buying into a system. The Sox still too often look lost. With the Bulls, the Sox expected to lose regularly from the moment general manager Rick Hahn announced the rebuilding process in December 2016. They just weren't prepared for the embarrassment which has been too easy to spot this young season. That's a half step backward from 2017, before Sox starter Lucas Giolito settled down Sunday, the Cubs stole four bases, walked three times and advanced on two wild pitches, in the first inning. It felt like Saturday when Sox pitchers walked four straight hitters, once throwing 13 straight balls. On Friday, Renteria failed to call for a review when Matt Davidson looked safe at second base after being picked off, and third base coach Nick Capra recklessly waved home Nicky Delmonico, who was thrown out by 20 feet. Sox apologists can't blame injuries for chronic brain cramps. Photos from Game 3 of the City Series between the White Sox and Cubs at Wrigley Field on Sunday, May 13, 2018. Individual mental lapses start to leave a collective impression. These boys don't quit, as the ad says, but the team promoting its heart must remember to use its head like the Sox did in Sunday's City Series finale. Everybody knows the Sox roster will change gradually. Now the Sox need to show signs the overall approach will, too, immediately. That challenge of getting everyone to buy in falls on Renteria, the indefatigable optimist, I still believe completely and totally in guys we have here, Renteria said. One thing I can't lose sight of is the direction we want to go and obviously we've had situations that haven't gone as well as we've wanted. Ultimately the growth will continue to occur, as frustrating as it might be right now, it is going to happen, getting injured second baseman Yoan Moncada back as early as Tuesday from a hamstring injury will help the Sox. 
so will reminding themselves that baseball's bottoming out method worked for the Cubs, Astros and Royals, all teams that saved the course despite doubts along the way. This remains the right one for the Sox, albeit with an unwelcome detour taking them a little further south than planned. Their ever, Renteria, is undeterred. 56-year-old manager who, as a player, overcame a broken jaw that required the insertion of plates and screws after a ball hit him in the face knows something about perseverance, patience is really an important part of being where we're at right now, Renteria said. That will bring no solace to the fan at this particular time, but I can't lose focus on what we're trying to do in terms of developing these guys. If you allow it to take control of you, you can bury yourself in it and it can be pretty tough to work through it. Despite the temptation, the Sox vowed to avoid calling up top minor league prospects such as slugger Aloy Jimenez or future ace Michael Kopech for a morale boost. Their 2018 debuts still sound closer to if than when. For the organizations that rebuild the right way, which the Sox are, major league standings have no effect on minor league timetables, you can't cross that line, Renteria said. You have to allow those guys in the system to continue to work through the things they're working through. I don't think it would make sense, honestly, to push something because of what's occurring here at the particular moment, this particular moment on Mother's Day finally was won. Worth celebrating for the Sox, whose manager deserved a reason to smile. Chicago Tribune.com Twitter at David Hall White Sox rally for 5 to 3 win to prevent Cubs sweep at Wrigley Field. Rick Renteria trying to keep negativity, anger from White Sox clubhouse. Adam Engel has uplifting day as White Sox leadoff hitter.